All right, here is another suggestion from my request section on my channel. And a number of you wanted to have a look at this rolling release. I'm looking at Foresight Linux right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. First, I went on ForesightLinux.org and I figured I'd have a look at some of the different options that they're providing for the desktop that's being offered. And your choices presently at this time are GNOME, LXDE, and XFCE. The KDE link is dead. And if you go into the download section, you will see that uh, they don't have a KDE version available which is okay. I like XFCE, so I thought I'd download that. And this is what you're looking at on the desktop here already. Now, something I'd like to point out to you guys uh, is that this is not beginner-friendly. You do not have a graphical installer for installing your packages. This uses Canary, which allows us to have a nice rolling release model. So to get the best use out of this, you're going to have to bury your nose in some documentation, and they do have quite a bit of documentation here. Now, I do remember seeing the video that um, This Week in Linux, or Tool.tv did on Foresight Linux, and he did mention that there is a method for uh, using uh, RPM and DEB packages with this distribution, but I haven't dug into that well enough to figure out how to do that. And it's not something you would execute. You would actually have to do, you know, you'd have to do some code meddling to get them to work. All right, let's go ahead and minimize this. Before I show you Connery, uh, let me show you at least what the XFCE desktop will get you. Now, uh, in order to get this working, I had to install some extra packages in order to get the VirtualBox editions working so I could show this in full screen. But the XFCE desktop that you get that with this is quite comprehensive. Uh, it's also the latest. It's running uh, XFCE 4.10. You get a, a terminal emulator, and I'm going to go ahead and open that because we're going to use it here in a moment. Position this down here. By the way, this is part of the panel that you're seeing down here is part of the XF panel, and it can be modified to work like a dock, which is kind of cool. Okay, and uh, your file manager is Stunar. Uh, you get a mail reader and a web browser, which is Firefox. From here, you can adjust all of your settings in one place, and uh, that's one thing I really like about XFCE in that uh, all of your settings you can handle in one place, or you can access those individually in the menu. Uh, you get a number of accessories to get the most out of the system, a few development tools that popped in when I had to do an upgrade uh, so that I could get VirtualBox editions installed. You get uh, the GIMP and Ristretto Image Viewer. Uh, you get Claws Mail, Akiga Soft Phone, Firefox, Pigeon for all of your instant messaging needs, Skype comes included with this, and Transmission. You get an Audio Mixer, Cheese Webcam Booth, Parole Media Player, pretty neat. I actually use that myself. You get Priya and XF Burn. Okay, and then in Office, you get Abbey Word, a dictionary, GNU Merrick, Orange Calendar, Orange Global Time. And then in System, you get a few tools here, a bulk renamer, a disk management, disk utility, gigolo, manage print jobs, printing, task manager, Thunar file manager, XFCE terminal, and ZenMap. All right. Now, let's have a quick look at Connery, because this is how you will install packages. Okay, simply just type in Connery. will tell you some things that you can do. All right, so for instance, let's say we want to install Compiz. All right, so we would do, uh, first I want to search and make sure that they have it available. So that would be Connery, RQ, Compiz. You will see it located one package, and that is version 
8.6, which I thought was very stable. The problem with this is it didn't list any of the other packages that are available with that. And if you're going to install any packages, you're going to have to know what the names of those are. Fortunately, when you visit the uh, Foresight uh, webpage, you can get a link to their repository. And in here, there's a list of all of the packages that they have available for this. Okay, and so I would have to do a search so that I could install these packages. So that would be sudo connery install compiz and then install compiz base, compiz bcop, compiz check, and all of those other things. And I wish there was a way that they are that they could list everything with compiz and the name for it so that you could pick and choose what you wanted to install. Also, there is a rollback feature in this as well. So let's say you download an update and it breaks your system. You can issue a command to do a rollback. And all of that is listed in Connery Help. And everything that you can do with Connery is listed in here. Uh, different commands you can issue to Connery for information display. Uh, miscellaneous commands, repository access, system modification. So this is just a different uh, text-based command line package management system. I think that Pac-Man and Yawr have a little bit more power than this. And I'm liking what I'm seeing here in Foresight Linux, but I think this needs a little bit more time to mature. I think the package manager needs to be a little bit more user-friendly. And in terms of making this easier for end users, I think it would benefit from having a GUI front end that would help people search and install packages. Well worth keeping your eye on, but not something I would be ready to use at this time. Mm -hmm.